it's a Fallen Clasher here. And, uh, this is Let's Play number 45, the mid-level Let's Play. And, um, so we, we have three cannons to 11 right now. And, uh, one's on, two are on their way. So, thank you for the troops pick. And, uh, they actually made the new thing. See how it says 18 minutes on the clan castle? You can actually gem that now. And, uh, so then it says zero. And, well, so then it lets you request automatically again. So, just another thing that Supercell is allowing you to spend money on. And, uh, they also figured out. Well, no, I'll save that for later. I'll tell you later. So, um, now I'm going for all of my archer towers. Thank you for the troops. For all my archer towers to 11. And, uh, they're actually way too much to go to 11. From, uh, 10 to 11, it costs 5 million. So that's crazy. And, uh, my P.E.K.K.A.s, 6 million. I mean, uh, a few days left on them. And this was all that was in the new update. So, three expos now. Um, as And level 8 army camps. So now you can hold 240 army camp space. He has one, two, and three expos. And then two inferno towers. And six level 12 cannons that do 86 damage per second. So those are quite good. And, um, yeah. <laughs> he still has a Christmas tree. But, uh, Spell Factory level 5 with the new freeze spell. So you get all five spells now. And, uh, now Supercell finally realized that level, the adding a new wall level makes them the most money. So that's why they added those level 11 walls, and they're 4 million each to upgrade them, and that's a lot of money. So, yeah, and then uh, I'll show you, let me donate first, and uh, I'm going to make a sub 200 farming video today, so make sure you stay tuned for that, and Kai will be posting a road to black walls because now he's getting all of his walls to level 8 so I'll be uh, doing that and uh, yeah so we're gonna attack this base hopefully we can get all of it since it's all in the collectors well yeah most of it I think see if we can pick off anything don't think we can uh, so yeah I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with all my elixir because I have so much of it. Um, but maybe we can find something to do. Like upgrade my Dark Elixir Drill to 6. My one that's currently going to 5. Make that go to 6. And then since the other one is already on its way to 6 in like 4 days. I think it'll be finished. And uh, yeah so let's just pick off these two final gold mines and end this and maybe get the elixir because we kind of I will I kind of want to lose trophies because I'm going down to 200 trophies and uh, see how it is down there and hopefully it's pretty good because uh, I hear like you just constantly raiding like 50,000 every raid so if I can do that then that would be pretty awesome yeah um so i'm just gonna end this here once we get those two elixir collectors and yeah so we're done here minus 30 trophies i really don't care at all and it's pretty good loot for the amount of troops that we used uh so what else i can show you a Attack replay, yeah. Uh, one where, like, they were upgrading both mortars, and I realized that, and it was pretty easy because then my 
troops since they didn't um, get splashed by the splash buildings, well, damaged by the splash buildings, and then they could just go to work and uh, destroy everything. Uh, training up some troops, and then there we go. So a good tip is to train up your troops by dividing the amount of troops that you use by four. Oh yeah, here's the free spell. So four seconds uh, of freeze time. The free spell sends out a cryo cryogenic blast that temporarily mobilizes enemy ground troops and disables defensive buildings within its radius. So it looks like at level three, it would do six seconds of immobilizing enemy ground troops and disables defenses, and it would cost like forty-two thousand. That's just a guess, but yeah, I think this is really overpowered because if you used five of the free spells, then you could freeze their entire base for well, not entire base, freeze like their three expos and. Inferno Tower for 30 seconds, and that's enough to destroy everything. So yeah, as you see here, if I place one free spell, I could freeze all three expos. Oh, by the way, I met this guy on Global. He's pretty cool, but he gemmed a lot. But yeah, so um, I could freeze all three of his expos on one of his Inferno Tower. And that's really overpowered because those are the th four things that do the most damage. And I could freeze them for 30 seconds. So if I did that, I could definitely three star the space with like a go wipe or something like that. Maybe I could freeze his air defenses and 11 dragon him. So that freeze spell really uh, made the game very interesting. You could say. So uh, let's show you this one, the second one down. Oh, excuse me. But, uh, yeah, the second one down. This was the guy with the mortars that weren't active. And, yeah, so I just saw all of his gold, and I took it all. So, <laughs> so I just placed three fingers on the screen and just deployed my army as quick as possible. Because then they could do as much damage as quick as possible. So his clan castle troops come out, it's pretty scary, but my troops easily destroy them because those are like level three and four archers in his clan castle, and my minor level six. So it's not really a fair battle. But I actually learned today that once you're town hall ten, every skip, like when you're attacking, every skip costs um one thousand gold. So, don't upgrade to Town Hall 10 unless you're maxed to Town Hall 9 because it like gives you a 50% loot penalty when you're attacking a uh, Town Hall 8. Yeah, when you're attacking a Town Hall 8 and you're Town Hall 10, you can only get like 100,000 from the storages, and that's not good, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so just deploying some more barbarians, and we're going to get the rest of this gold, and then hopefully we can get that elixir, and then we'll leave. So I'm actually getting kind of close. Well, not close, but I'm working my way up to Town Hall 10. Since I'm done my mortars, pretty close to my wizard towers being done, done my expos, done my cannons, and then I just will upgrade my um, Archer Towers and Teslas. And the three remaining Wizard Towers that have to go to seven. So that's all I'm going to do until I'm until I upgrade my Town Hall. And let's just go on the attack now. Because nothing else to do. And uh, yeah, so we don't really have a full army. Which isn't too good, but maybe we can find something to attack that's easy. Mortars really are the big like killer when it comes to using barbarians and the archer strategy.
Uh, Kai's gonna be. Wait, no, I already said that. My bad. Um, we're just searching through all these. So yeah, I'm gonna make a sub 200 farming video today. Hopefully, you guys will learn, and then you guys can choose whether you want to go down there or not. Cause this is all about helping you, this channel, not for money, not for popularity. It's just to help you guys. And I'll hopefully you guys enjoyed if you've watched this far already. Because I hope you guys enjoyed. So, um, yeah, here's the attack. And then these mortars are really going to destroy my troops pretty badly. Because, yeah, they just are going to. And also because I don't have a full army. If I had 50 more archers, these this guy would be screwed. But he's lucky because I didn't have 50 more archers. And I'm only going to pick off... Well, no, I won't tell you. But yeah, so I'm going to deploy my wall breakers and stuff. And all of my troops like I always do. And then hopefully I'll be able to take out both mortars, but maybe not. And I will deploy my archer queen. Since she's level 3 now. And she's really good. So here I placed a really stupid wall breaker. And I didn't... I didn't know the cannon was going to shoot it down so quick. Well, I don't actually know what I was thinking. But that town hall really stopped me from getting into that other gold storage. Because that town hall guarded the wizard towers. And then the wizard towers just did a really good splash damage against my troops. So here I only got two... I mean one storage and I thought my archer queen might have pulled it out but she couldn't uh... the great thing about her is she has like the biggest range ever so she can shoot anything well not anything like most things end it here so thank you guys for watching that was a failed attack but I didn't have a full army so Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and you will subscribe. Only if you enjoyed. And uh, I will see you guys later. Peace.